Yeah, you know, I think Coach Max is going to do a great job. I really do. Now, it's going to take time, and I hope people in Gainesville are patient because that cupboard was bare. Contrary to what other coaches have said and contrary to what, what people think, there's very few talented players on the offensive line that participated in the spring. It was constantly trying to move guys around who fits best where. The secondary is something to build on, but how long is that secondary going to be able to keep it together? Is Vernon Hargraves entering his final season in Gainesville? More than likely. So you have some pieces in place, yes, but they're going to be young, and they're going to develop. And if they get to six, seven, eight wins this year, that would be an incredible job by Jim McElwain because I think in the near future they will eventually get to that point where they have the depth to be able to compete in a conference that is incredibly physical. But right now they're not even close to being there, and I, I just hope – fans in Gainesville and around the state of Florida are patient with, with a coach that certainly has a plan and a vision for what the program's going to be. What did he do to, to, to bring out the best in Alabama's offense when he was there, and how do you think he's going to be able to do that at Florida? Just what, one what's, what's his qualities as a coach? Yeah, well, one thing he really does is he adapts, he adapts the offensive system to the personnel. And I felt like in, in Muschamp's tenure, when he signed on, he inherited a group of recruits that were recruited to play in Urban Meyer's system. And Charlie Weiss was hired to become the offensive coordinator who was going to run a pro-style offense. I wasn't sure that it was the best fit. I thought it was a square peg, round hole scenario. Jim McElwain, however, if Treon Harris is starting quarterback, he'll incorporate those zone reads. He'll do some more out of the shotgun. He'll do movement type plays. Uh, I would expect him to do movement anyways because of the inexperience on the offensive line. So misdirection, anything to confuse the defense. And he's also going to feature players. And that's one thing that I thought he did a great job of at Alabama, putting Julio Jones in a position where he can get the best matchup possible. Maybe that's what he's going to see this year with the receivers. We haven't seen what Brandon Powell is going to be just yet. But by all counts, he's going to be able to play in the slot and from the running back position. He's going to play outside. He's going to be in motion. I mean, he will take a player and exploit the defense's weaknesses by putting that player in a position to succeed. And he did a great job at Alabama, and that was a large part due you know, to his creativity and play calling.